So what is going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 17th Angular 6 tutorial in which we're gonna learn about route protection in Angular and this would be our part 3 for a login application as well. So let's get started. Alright so what we have for route protection is something known as route guards in Angular 6. So in angular basically so what route guards do is that whenever a user tries to access a route a specific route these route guards would first of all check whether the user meets certain criteria to actually see that particular route if it does then they allow if it does not then they restrict stop redirect show error or whatever you want to do so basically you can think of it a user as a person which is walking through a gate now this gate once we add a route guard has a guard on it so the guard would verify everything from the user who's walking in and uh, if the guard is happy then the guard would open the doors and the user can access the other side that is the route in our case and if it does not then the guard can pretty much beat the user up or redirect him anywhere so yeah all right so uh, what we have here is that there are four type of guards that you can use and that are can activate can activate child can deactivate and resolve so what can activate do is that it would check whether the user is eligible to actually see a route so in this case what happens is that when you specify a guard inside can activate route guard what would happen is that angular will load that component would check whether the user can see that route or not for example depending upon a variable is true or false if it is true then the angular angular would proceed further and show the route to the user if it is false then um, you can pretty much handle what happens can activate child is different from can activate in the sense that uh, uh, let's just say uh, you are protecting you can protect actually just uh, slash admin and it would be kind of hard for me to write like this but let's just see if i can figure this out slash admin right but this can activate child would protect admin okay so uh we're close admin and anything which is here so don't mind my great writing so um uh, what can activate do is that if you specify this on admin then it would protect all the child routes as well whereas can activate specifically protects only one route can deactivate is actually used for um, let's just say if you if you know that one route can be used again by the user really quick so you do not want to deactivate that routes components pretty much you can return false and can deactivate to keep that route um, working then resolve is basically used to resolve some data before the um, user actually sees the route so you can pretty much use it to get some data from the API server and then can load what it does is that uh, um, can activate actually loads the module and then checks loads the component and then checks if the user is eligible can load would lazily check it first so can load would not open the doors first it would inquiry it would do inquiry from the user if the user is eligible to see that particular route and uh, then it would allow the user to actually see the route but can activate on the other hand would pretty much just um, load the component and then check if true then the component is already ready for user to see if false then just go to hell or whatever okay so here we are so let's just see this in action So right here, what we need to do is create a guard. All right, so what we're gonna do is create an auth guard. 
So I'm going to say ng generate guard and auth. So we're just writing auth because auth, the guard thing would automatically be appended to that. So you can see that we get two files created auth guard.ts and auth guard spec. We are interested in this auth guard.ts. And you can see that we have pretty much a boilerplate kind of thing set up for us. And you can see that we are returning uh, true here, which means that whenever I add this guard, this particular guard to any route, then that route would always be accessible. So what I can do is just go to my uh, app module here and we can just import this card so I'm gonna say import auth card from auth.card like here and then what we're gonna do is pretty much right here we're gonna say that uh, can it activate for example if I just write it at admin can activate activate and then I'm gonna specify this auth guard right here all right so now if we take a look here in the browser what we have so if we take a look in the browser and if i go to like slash admin here okay we get an error inject error and that is because we have not injected this inside our providers here let's reload and go to admin here and you can see that we can pretty much access it straight away now let's just try out and return um false from this thing where is it auth.service auth.guard i guess i closed it so if i return false from here and now if we take a look in the browser you can see that we were not able to go to this admin route right here it simply just doesn't work all right so what we can do right here is that we can pretty much create a constructor we can say private um, our auth service auth service is uh, um or let's just name it auth as auth service service now we can just get it imported just like this so now what we can say is return this dot auth dot is locked in something like that and now inside our auth service right here what i'm going to do is create a get method and what this does is that it acts as a property name it acts as a property name but it is a function but it acts as a property name right so I'm not accessing it like this I'm just accessing it like another property but we can before returning the value of the property we can do some calculation and manipulate it so that would be cool right so what I can do I can say something like um, uh, something like let's just say if I have something like private logged in or actually we do not really need that um, get properly right so because we can just set it just like or we can just make it public instead of private because we're gonna make use of this inside our login component if data.success is true then what I want is the redirect the person to um the admin url and uh, we can just do that from our router thing so to do that what we're going to do is to say this dot router dot navigate and then we're just going to specify admin here uh, we just need to inject the router thing as well and what we can do is we can just import router from angular router itself we do not need something like that so that should be good and then 
what we have is uh, okay so we have some warnings here not really errors so what we can do really quick is just go to our where is it service file app dot auth dot service and what we can do is create an interface here and uh, let's just name it uh, my data for the time being success is a boolean and message is a string which we are using right now so we can just specify this thing and we should be good to go here there we are so the warnings gone and we are navigating to admin once that happens now once that happens what i also want is uh, i just want to say that this dot uh, um, what we have auth dot log set logged in as true something like that so then we can go to our auth dot service file and create a function here set logged in uh, and uh, value is a boolean you don't need to specify that but anyways so now we can make it private and we can just say this dot logged in status is value something like that and then what we can do is get um, log in is logged in so we actually needed that anyway so we're just gonna return this dot logged in status just like that all right with that being done what we have is this thing in place and uh, yep so let's just take a look in the browser and see how this looks like so now if i go to admin directly you can see that it doesn't work but now if i go to login i log in via admin admin hit submit you can see that it works just fine now obviously angular is not pretty much storing everything so this is not a reliable solution you might just want to use cookie based authentication anyway with the servers so that was a quick tutorial on how to protect routes with your angular code only obviously this is insecure as hell as well because you know you're just doing all the route protection on front end and, and anyone with enough debugging skills would be able to get all the hidden content you have because that is anyway rendered on your um, system only so what we can do instead one more thing is that you can actually specify multiple routes here so if one route fails then other routes won't be checked but if one route returns true then other routes will be checked so it's kind of can activate this kind of condition like auth guard returns true and then some other other route guard returns true and then something 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 like so if one fails one returns false in this chain the expression further won't be evaluated but otherwise every route guard would be fired right so um, this is how basically you would use can activate in your application to pretty much um, restrict access to routes and in the next tutorial we're going to actually see how to make it really um, useful as a production app because it's just useless that you're just protecting a route which is anyway visible on the front end when you deploy this code in the production so till then um, i'll see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications.